I've already shuffled the decks and I've also pulled two oracle cards. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the, sc of the screen. They will be for your recent past. Then we'll go over the present, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Cancer. We start with give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And it's paired with rest. Take On the flip side of rest, it reads, take a mental break, a quiet mind, has direct access to wisdom and insight. So these two are for the recent past. So you probably um, realize that your mind is more health is more healthy when you when you're re relaxed and um, just taking personal time for yourself, some quiet time. So maybe you had a lot of things going on in the recent past and you also had a connection with someone. Um, that's why the other card is saying give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So you probably um, was able to come up with new ideas to enhance the relationship, to to enhance the connection with your partner in the recent past, and that was probably something you needed to do then. And you realize that uh, the more at peace you were with yourself, you were able to enhance the relationship better. So that's something you did in the recent past, or that's something you should have done. Because it looks like you had a pretty good connection here with these two couples uh, cuddling there. And uh, real looks like you probably had a, a good one. And um, you just knew that uh, you couldn't really focus on the connection like you wanted to if you didn't have the adequate rest. Because um, you realized with rest it gave you wisdom and insight into the connection. Or this is something that you should have done. You should have done in the recent past. Or it's something that you did. Okay, so let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords, it can indicate new beginnings of some sort in your life, possibly. With this Ace of Swords, it could be on many levels, many different fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it'll be started by a separation of some kind from a relationship, a job situation. It could be anything, but some type of separation starts a new beginning. Just know that as anxiety producing, as a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is really good beneficial energy that's going to take you to where you really need to be and where you want to go. Keep in mind the Ace of Swords, it calls on us not to be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. When it's talking about love and relationship questions, the Ace can mean that it can mean that you're ready to start something new. If you are already in a committed relationship, it indicates that there's something about the relationship that you'll probably choose to put a stop to. That's why the sword is there. Something you're going to put a stop to. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you and you lose your partner because you say so, just know that you haven't lost. You're being guided towards a relationship that is better for you. So with the Saints of Swords, it's saying go ahead and tell the truth. Speak your mind at this time. This Ace of Swords is paired with the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings about life in general and probably a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but 
don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. And I say this because you could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with friends and lovers. So make sure you think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. You have to pick your battles at this time, Cancer. Now, when we're talking about relationships and love, and you get this Five of Swords, unfortunately, it's an indicator uh, that conflict is near. As you can see in this picture, this man is running around with two swords in his hand, and he looks like he's uh, about to attack everyone with it. So, conflict is near. Things may not be as you would like for them to be with a love connection or relationship. So think calmly and carefully about what the deal breakers are in the relationship. You're going to have to be honest with yourself first, then be honest with your partner and accept any reality. So basically, for your present time, the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords, hmm. There's something in the, um, a situation or uh, the person that you're dealing with or some type of connection that you have. Um, this, there'll probably be some type of separation. Like I said, it could be a neighborhood. It could be work. It could be your person. Some type of separation or something that you're going to put a stop to. And it's going to cause a brand new beginning on many different levels and several fronts a brand new beginning okay so but something has to be put a stop to and it's going to cause you to have some mixed feelings because you got the five of swords yeah it's going to cause you to um whatever you have to put a stop to you're going to feel like just um speaking your every thought and five of swords is saying being careful be careful with that because right now you just got mixed feelings about a situation or a, or or a person and um, you could ruin some friendships and you could uh, cause problems in the connection that you have so yeah some new beginning is coming it's coming in but like I said something you're going to choose to put a stop to and it's going to cause a lot of mixed feelings, probably a little bit of anxiety there. And you're just going to want to, um, you probably want to be sharp and harsh with the, whatever you got to put a stop to. But take this as a warning. Uh, choose your words wisely at this time and pick your battles. Because you don't want to lose the people that you really love. And that's what we have for the present time. So let's move on down and take a look at how they see you. Now we have the Seven of Wands and it's paired with the Knight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you're going to come out on top. Things should be going very well for you and you're feeling good your projects they're moving right along you could still have some regular moments of self-doubt but now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway also don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because at this time your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them this card also points to to being independent and thinking for yourself. Like he's standing up there alone and there's no one around him. Except for the little bird, I hope you can see that. And he's independent and thinking for himself. His thinking is clear. Now when we ask about love and relationship questions and you get the seven of wands, if you're already in a relationship, don't hesitate to speak your mind to your partner. To, to the person that you're dealing with. This will improve your relationship as long as you're 
simultaneously consider it. As long as you're considerate of the way in which you speak your mind. So, if, you, if there are any single Aquarius, I'm sorry, if there are any single Cancers, this is a Cancer reading. I'm, not, I'm trying not to get it twisted. Okay. Um, so, if there are any single Cancers listening, with this Seven of Wands in your reading, it indicates that you're probably about to meet someone new. It'll be away from your usual search. So it's important at this time to try new things. So uh, this is how your person is seeing you, Cancer. They see you as a seven of wands. They see you as they see you as clear thinking about this connection. And they see you as speaking your mind to improve the, the connection and um, they see you as having some moments of self-doubt about the connection. But they see you as someone who is willing to come out on top of this connection. Um, you're willing to uh, stand tall for it and you're willing to uh, not hesitate to speak your mind when when you need to in the in the connection so it's paired with the knight of pentacles now the knight of pentacles it points to responsibility and duty that's a part of any relationship we all know love is not always wine and roses. True love is a willingness to work together to get through the, the rough spots and to work on the relationship. So if you're single and you're looking for a relationship and you get this Knight of Pentacles, it's a clear sign that you need to once again switch up your routine, try new things if you want to meet someone. And once again your usual search is leaving very little to be desired. So that's heavy in this reading for single cancers. Um, switch up your search. Try a new approach. Try a new way of trying to meet people. Because the way you're doing it now, single cancers, it's probably not working too well. Okay, so let's get back to how they see you. The person that you're dealing with, once again, they see you as standing tall for the connection and um, speaking your mind. And because it's with this Knight of Pentacles, uh, they also see you as um, pretty much the same way as the Seven of Wands. You're willing to put in uh, duty. You're willing to be responsible for uh, working together in the connection to get through any rough spots. So they see you as putting in the time and effort that it re that's required for any relationship. They see you going for it. Alright, so that's how they see you, Cancer. And let's move on down. Take a look at how you see them. Now, you see them as the Queen of Wands and the Fool. So, the Queen of Wands, it refers to a woman who could have a lot of fire about her. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it could go either way. When uh, we're not talking about an actual person, it stands for getting a lot accomplished. And often the focus could be, could be on work or career, but it could go either way. It could be family or romance. Keep in mind the queen is very positive, uplifting. Very, very much so. Now, when this does stand for an actual person or a lady in your life, she's your good friend who is solidly 100% on your side, but she can seem a bit self-absorbed. That's the only thing. And if you're trying to conceive at this time and this card appears, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. 
So when we're talking about relationships and you get the Queen of Wands, um, very positive again. If you are looking for love and you're single, this could mean you'll meet someone suitable. Probably through a light-haired friend or acquaintance. Um, but you probably are not in the mood to be on your own at this time. So get out there and socialize. Trust yourself and the universe to bring you the love and support you want and need. Now that explains the Queen of Wands. And it also explains how the person that you're dealing with, how you see them. So you see the person that you're dealing with, they've got a lot of fire about this connection. They want to uh, get a lot accomplished in this connection. Um, they're very, their energy is uplifting. They've got a lot of energy. Uh, you see them um, as a good friend and you see them as being on your side even though they are a little bit self-absorbed. But you see them as determined. You see them as determined um, about this connection. And it's paired with the Fool card. So, when the Fool card, it's, when it talks about love and relationships, it could indicate that you are not ready for a commitment. At least not quite yet. Even though others could be pressing you for one, now is probably not the time. There's nothing wrong with having fun, and yes, this card is very positive for your love life. Lots of fun is in the making, and that is probably what you really want now, if you're in an existing relationship. If on the other hand, you're looking for a new relationship, and hopefully love, then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it come your way. Because when you're wrapped up in having fun, it can be easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. Because true love is not always instant. It's not always. So you need to make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. So back to how they see you they see you we have the queen of wands and the fool card so the queen of wands they see you determined you're gun ho but a little bit self-absorbed you want this you want this connection you got a lot of fire for this connection you want to keep it going but they also see you as wanting to have fun you could be wanting to have fun without them Okay, so um, you could be wanting to have fun with them also, but that's something that you're not leaving out of the connection. Sometimes people, when they're in a relationship, they forget to have fun, but they see that you're determined about the connection, and you got this full card there. They see you... Um, they see you wanting to have an open-hearted energy about the connection. Uh, they probably see you as having, um, food crack can be about the innocence of a child. So they see you in an innocent way. Um, probably sweet, loving, and um, just open-hearted and just wanting to take a leap with this connection. So not a bad way to see you. So, that's how you see them. I do get the words twisted now. That's how they see you. It's not a bad way for you to see them that way. Put it that way. Okay. I hope you got it. So, we just went over how you see them. Determined and got that open-hearted energy. And you're ready to take a leap. Like the man is doing in the car. He's so happy about this connection. He's, he's not even looking at where he's going. He's about to walk off of a cliff right into the Atlantic Ocean. So just don't do that part, Cancer. Don't, don't take the leap like that into the Atlantic Ocean. 
Make sure you're watching where you're going because we do want you to come back for the next reading. All right, so once again, that's how you see them. Let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Three of Pentacles and it's paired with the Three of Cups. So the Three of Pentacles is a very, very positive card in the tarot. Particularly with regards to work and career questions. And I say that because the Pentacles, it means money. It means finance, coins, dividends, cash. So it's a very, very good card, like I said in the tarot. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. And they notice the quality of work you do, even if you do not get paid. The three, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. You're on the right page. Even though there could be some room for improvement. But at this time, you will not need to scrap something and then start again. Also, when we're talking about love and relationships and you get the three, it's very good. Particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in. This tells you that they see you in a very positive light. As someone who has all the qualities that they're looking for. Even though love, it hasn't quite developed yet. So there's going to be a need for patience. If you are unattached and single cancers, but looking for a relationship... This card indicates that you're likely to meet someone through your work or through theirs. But you're going to have to keep your eyes open at this time. So, why it's all happening is because it's three of pinnacles. It's, this, um, it's happening because the both of you in this connection appreciate each other in the things that you two do for each other and the, both of you you notice that work is being put in there's work and effort being put in to keep this connection going so it's paired with this three of cups now the Three of Cups about love and relationships, it can mean a reunion with a long lost love, someone from the past. And if you're single, the most likely interpretation of this Three of Cups is that you'll meet a likely love soon, someone who really fits the bill of the person that you've been looking for and that this person will probably be a new love if you're single not someone you used to be with so it's all happening because like I said the two of you are, there's teamwork there with this three of pentacles there's collaboration in this connection uh, you both appreciate the efforts that's put into this connection. And because it's with this Three of Cups, there's a friendship there. Um, there's probably a circle of support. Maybe your family is supportive of this connection or theirs. Or some, some type of support that's going on with this connection. See how the three people are up in the air? So there's some type of support there. I don't know if it's what kind, but um, you guys you guys celebrate this connection. And I don't know if this is a past person, but the Three of Cups is about s someone returning. So maybe this connection is someone from the past, possibly. Um, or it could just be It could be um, just a happy, celebratory connection at this time. Yeah. You could do a lot of celebrating. Uh, you could be. You could go out a lot. 
but there's a true there's a true friendship there and happiness and uh, this is all happening because you guys you rejoice in this connection and like I said you appreciate the efforts that you two put in the connection so that's not bad so cancer I hope you enjoyed this reading there's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading and I'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks now if I if I don't get a chance to do the extended there will always be a, a link for you to get a personal reading and that this is this is all in the, the description box below I just want to say thank you so very much for watching please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll get posted when I that way you get notified when I post my next reading I am hoping that you have a wonderful 2020 and I'm hoping that you have a beautiful February and once again thank you so very much for watching have a great day